Yo, thanks for tuning in to Written Red by Seven Digital. Yo, this is the first of a brand new series, and hopefully there'll be a lot more. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and dive right into it. Yo, this story about a fight in the hood at the bouncy house, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and tell the story for you. So tell me why this boy got blood all on my sneakers, bro. My brand new Air Force Wars, man. This mess happened at a bouncy house, fam. Are you hearing me? No BS. I was in the area from dropping off my daughter at my BM house. So I'm like, I might as well stop by to see my little sneaky link. I text her like, yo, you around the crib? She texts back quick like, pull up right now. I looked at the text twice because I'm thinking like, why is right now capitalized? What does that mean? So I get ready to text back, RN, question mark, question mark. But the three dots showed up when she started to write another text. So I didn't hit send and I put my phone down. Her three dots were there for like an entire minute or longer, but she didn't text anything. So I made sure I had protection easy to reach and I headed over to see her. When I pulled up to her street, I had to roll the windows down and turn my music up, take in the environment a little bit it was beautiful women everywhere kids were outside playing together the block was packed and traffic was rolling slowly through the crowd tasha was my girl's name and her house was right next door to the small apartment complex on the block they had a bouncy house for the kids in the big empty lot more and more people were bringing their kids over to jump in the giant bouncy house so i pulled out my phone to grab a quick video of the whole environment it's not every day you stroll into a block party unexpected it was nice outside, but the wind was picking up a little bit, and the birds were landing in the trees and on the power lines by the flock. They were attracted by the smell in the air from all the food trucks and barbecue grills. One little boy was on the lot, close to where I parked my car, crouched down just playing in the rocks, chasing an ant or something. I didn't think nothing of it. I was near Tasha's house, and people were outside, but I didn't see Tasha. Out of nowhere, I hear a small, cute voice from behind me, and I recognized it immediately. Tasha was walking up eating strawberry shortcake, offering me a bite and a hug almost at the same time. So you know I had to see if that ass got any fatter. <laughs> we leaned on my car and started soaking in the vibes for a little while. Time skipped the beat. At least an hour went past and it was a whole new group of kids at the bouncy house. We didn't even notice the change until it started getting crazy. These kids were making way more noise and seemed a little bit older than the kids from before as well. They were borderline too big to be in this bouncy house. So I definitely made a joke or two. I don't know if they can hear me or not, but there was definitely some laughing going on in there. I didn't want to hurt any kids feelings, so I didn't make any more jokes. Out of nowhere, that kid that was chasing ants around springs up and leaps at a bird, and the kid catches the bird. I kid you not. The bird freaks out because the kid has about one wing, and the bird is flapping the other wing trying to get free, and it started to screech, ah, yeah. And another bird flew over, and the kid let it go, and the bird flew into a white Escalade that was driving by. It hit the SUV so hard that it left some blood on the door and pooped on the running board and died. The Escalade stopped immediately. The driver got out and looked at the damage to find a small dent and some blood on his truck from the bird. We were standing pretty close and the boy had a petrified look on his face. Like he did a horrible thing. The driver of the Escalade let out a wild scream. Ah! Who threw a chicken in my truck? At that moment, I looked down and saw that I also had blood on my shoes from the bird as well. I was pissed, but I didn't say anything. I just bottled it up. The driver looked directly over toward the kid who was still petrified and started towards him pointing and yelling, that's the kid, it was you, you threw the chicken, where's your mama and daddy? So I stepped in front of the kid like, hold up bro, that's the kid. He was like, oh that's your kid. I was like, hell no. Nah. But still, you can't address him like that. You gonna have to take that L, bruh. He went to reach for his piece tucked behind him, so I knocked him out with one of the quickest punches he ever seen in his life. He was riding along, so I just put him in his car, closed his door, took his mag, emptied his chamber, chucked his gun in his back seat, and grabbed Tasha, and we rolled off. I had to go find somewhere close by to clean that bird blood off my shoes. The end.